Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. George. Um, so it's it's between Christmas and New Year's here, and uh, I was planning on being home, so I was gonna do a bunch of trails, but uh, the weather is not not cooperating. So um, thought what I'd do today is talk about this Apex Badland Ridge. Um, I got a lot of comments. Um, about how it's working out, how how it's been good, you know what's good about it, what's bad about it. So, um, first thing, the the first good thing about it, obviously, is uh, the price compared to other winches, right? So, it's definitely a bargain. But um, the reason why I decided to go with this winch was because of the price, and I'd also seen Matt's channel where he he was using it for off road recovery, and he was using it a lot. So. Um, um, he had the the previous version of this one, I believe, and he also has this one on the more bear, I think. But uh, yeah, I mean, he uses it all the time, and he seems to like it. But I did notice what he did was he replaced the the wire or the synthetic rope that came with it. So I have noticed as I've been using the winch, um, the rope that comes with it um, has a lot of deformities on it. Um, and that's probably partially from bad practice and not keeping it spooled right and whatnot. I've only used this winch twice though, so, um, and I probably only used maybe one or two layers and it seems like some of the lower layers were, were deformed also. So, um, the times where I used it, um, I used it once on double Sammy. Um, I got into an area where I was sliding down a ledge and um, I slid myself over so far that I couldn't back up anymore. The bumper was wedged between the ledge and the and the the, back, the ledge behind me and the ledge I was on. Make it a bad thing. <laughs> then... And then, um, so what I ended up doing there, because if you've ever been to Sand Hollow, there's not a lot of places to winch to, not a lot of good secure points. So um, we pulled out the winch, we looked for everything. Um, we happened to find someone coming by on a side-by-side. -side. I was able to put him behind a, a rock formation and hook up to him and then just use the winch enough just to give me enough grip to pull up off that ledge and uh, get me get myself out of there. So. I had no other way out because I couldn't get any momentum and I needed momentum to get up that ledge so that was the first time we used it and it worked great um, the remote worked flawless um, everything seemed to be work just fine um, I probably got in a little bit of a hurry spooling up on that one uh, we also got in a hurry on the video we didn't get any video of that which I really wish I would have got gotten but I hadn't so also um, I did use it again in that off-road recovery for the fins and things just to turn a Jeep uh, about 45 degrees or 90 degrees um, to the side just to pull them over so you could turn them around and get them out of there. So um, I was able to use it then. So um, as far as the winch goes, it's pretty standard. I mean, it comes with the fair lead, 
Um, the synthetic rope or wire rope, you can get it with wire rope. Um, comes with all the wiring and everything that you need to wire it up. Um, I did buy a winch plate. I used the bully, the bully dog winch plate that I got from E-Trailer, um, which was the only, honestly, the only winch plate that I could get in a decent amount of time. So I took a gamble on that and got that, which it turned out pretty good. I mean, it was pretty easy to install. There's about eight bolts to take the bumper off, uh, four, and then the same bolts to put the winch plate on and and uh, bolt the plate, bolt the winch to the winch plate. So, so that made it pretty easy. Um, as far as that goes, the only problems that I have is I have I still haven't fixed the uh, the free spool, so it still interferes here with the stock metal bumpers for the Rubicon. So that's just me being lazy. I haven't gotten to it yet, so um, I don't want to dig out my grinder and my cutoff wheel and and get after it. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to make a mess. I got a million excuses. Um, it's just as easy for me to use it the way I've been using it. Like I said, the wireless remote works good. It does have a, uh, a spot to hook up a wired controller to, and you're on off right there. So that is there if you need it. Um, the wiring is pretty pretty robust. It's got great looms on it and covering and all that. So what I ended up doing was I just ran the wiring behind the winch and underneath the grill right here and I found a spot right here that goes all the way through right so if you look at the headlight right here so basically it's running up the side of the headlight and it just runs up into here I zip tied it around comes up into there and then uh, down past this compartment ran it down to the battery we got a switch wired in line, which it comes with the switch. Um, I haven't mounted it yet, but basically just an on off. So you can have it disconnected from the battery. Let's see. Yeah, so that's the switch. It's just kind of chilling right there. Which, it, it works pretty good right there. I mean, it rides fine. We got the positive hooked up to the positive side of the battery. The negative is hooked up to ground. So, um, Jeep makes all that pretty easy. So yeah, wiring it up was not that difficult it was pretty easy for the price and uh what it's been able to do it's been pretty good so um i went like i said i've only used it twice i don't plan on using it that often so that was another reason why i didn't go with a super expensive winch because i mean you you want something that's reliable i'd seen enough reviews on this winch to realize that it's pretty reliable i haven't seen a lot of failures reliable enough to for the amount of times that i'm probably going to use it so so yeah, so that's the Apex winch. If you're uh, if you're on the ropes about buying one, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with winches, so I can't really give you an overall review of them versus Smitty Built versus Warren versus all the other winches. But since this is the only one that I know of, but I it's doing everything I need it to do. So so that's the video today. Just a quick video um, because can't really get out on the trails so although I'm still thinking about it but <laughs> um, if I can find somebody that will go out with me as I think the chances of me getting stuck are a little higher today but um, if I can find someone to go out I'll, I'll find someone but yeah short video today just want to let you guys know how that winch was working out um, like I said bully dog winch plate um, stock steel Rubicon bumper um, as far as everything's good, the only thing I would change on it is I'm going to probably order a different, a higher quality synthetic rope um, to have as a spare, uh, just in case this one fails. There's a little bit of deformities on this one from the use of it so far, and I've only used it twice, so I'm not super impressed with the rope, but um, I don't know. I don't use these very often with this, and definitely not with the synthetic ropes. So maybe you guys can tell me what the ropes that you have and experience that you have with your winch. Um, should I be worried about some of those deformations, I guess. Um, um, I was known to sit on that last trail I was on when I re-spooled everything that it was getting some wear and tear on it. So, And that's only from two times of use. But, Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that's been subscribing and all the comments. I appreciate that. So if you like these types of videos and you haven't already liked and subscribed, like and subscribe and we'll see you out there on the trail.